Well, let's talk about the instrumentation. That's that's a good yeah. uh, place to, to follow on. Um, it is relatively relatively unusual. Mm. Trombone, cello, guitar, drums, electric bass. So there's yeah. there's an electric element to the sound, obviously, but it's acoustic as well. You know, cello is part of the string family. Mm. It's a really really lovely, at times quite a vocal sound. And you also do vocals as well. Mm. Um, so how did you decide on this combination of instruments, or did you not decide on it? Did they just come together organically? I kind of decided. It's so, it's ten years ago when I got the first idea of the band, so well, I don't know how much I remember, but I, I do remember that even before I knew the guys, I, I knew that I want to have cello and trombone. And guitars. Well, yeah, actually, I knew the lineup quite early, you know, like before thinking about who I should ask to play. And uh, I don't really know what was the uh, like original reason for that kind of lineup. Like, I remember hearing one really nice album where there was Paul Motion, Gary Peacock, and then Wolfgang Mutzbill. Mutzbill, yeah. Mutzbill and yeah. his brother. Christian? Christian, yeah. who plays trombone. Yeah. So, I like that album. I just, and uh, I like the sound. That was without cello, but... I wanted to have, like, uh, I, I kind of heard the sound in my head, with trombone and cello, and I wanted to have, like, a dark, dark sound. Because I was playing... A lot of, you know, piano trio music around that time. Juno, Toy Boy, yeah. I think that was the first person that I saw you play with. Yeah, yeah. and we played a lot with Jona at that time. So maybe I just wanted to have something different. And also I was doing lots of jazz, so maybe when I started to think about the combination or the band, the lineup, maybe I just wanted to go totally somewhere, like another direction from like, a, for example, piano trio. So I, I decided quite early that I don't want to have piano, <laughs> and and. Uh, so Juno had to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking about to say you, you're looking at colours yes. and melodies, exactly, as well as the really like hardcore. Well, so much hardcore solo and stuff, but improvisation where it's. It becomes the, the defining feature of the music. I think in Odorang, it's like the lyricism and the, the melodic story that seems to be very, very important to you. That, yeah, that's really important for me. Like, I love melodies. Yeah. So, you know, that's what I try to do. I wanna, I try to write melodies that are melodies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a good one. Yeah. Not everybody writes melodies that are melodies. Yeah, yeah melodic melodies. Yeah. Yeah. Melody. <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah, it's funny now when you said the melancholy about oh, like that even an instrument, the sound of an instrument can be melancholic. Yeah. Which is funny or kind of interesting. But yesterday one guy he, he's my friend from Finland and he's been living here like ten years and when he was listening to us he said that he really started to, you know, he felt like he misses Finland and... Felt so nostalgic? Yeah, nostalgic, but then he said like, when he closed his eyes, he said that our music for him sounded what Finland looks like. Right. And I was like, wow, that's a really nice thing to say. Yeah. But like, and it's of course, 